Hello guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Uh, today we'll be discussing the new Flight Factor 767 Extended Pack. All right, I actually wanted to bring out a different video today. I planned out on bringing a time lapse, but um, then this this bad boy got released. The the freighter version and the 200ER version, right? So now we have not just the 767 300ER, we have the 767 300ER, the 767 freighter, and we have the 200, right? I've already bought the 767 uh, before the extended version, which was just this one aircraft. But in this aircraft, uh, in this like set, you get three other three uh, uh, three aircraft, right? So it's it, it's worth it. You go from uh, you go from if you already bought it, you paid sixty five dollars for it, and then you pay twenty for the extra two aircraft, which adds up to what eighty five bucks, right? So you say like seven bucks if you bought it before. You, I'm talking about U.S. dollars, guys. I don't know if it's different in your your country, wherever you live, but I'm just going going from U.S. dollars, right? Yeah, these are uh, in, in the new update. We have. I'm just gonna uh, get a quick overview here. So we have the freighter, and the freighter. The difference about this and the other two are we have a a, a larger cockpit. I do think we have. I don't know if we have a cargo hall. I can check. Do we? No, we don't. I don't think you can get to the cargo hull. Uh, yeah, so you've got a third seat right there. And yeah, the iPad now looks different, all right? It looks different from before the uh, extended. They changed it more. And now you actually have the option to uh, change engines. So you can see a new feature which they've added, and it, uh, it is... Hold up, I'll try and make this smaller. Yeah, you can make it smaller. So, uh, you can change the engines, all right, on each one of the aircraft. So, you can go from General Electric to Rolls-Royce and to, uh, I know Pratt & Whitney yet, only, oh yeah, there's Pratt & Whitney. They're the Pratt & Whitney engines, which I think were the ones they used before. Should be nothing new. Then you have the Rolls-Royce and General Electric. Uh, yeah, that's just a brief overview. You can open all the doors. I'll open those for you guys. I won't take the aircraft for a spin, but I just want to show you guys all the features, all right? Now ground, you have the high pressure unit, you have stairs, shocks, LSU, GPU, uh, fuel truck, uh, waste unit, which is also new. The ice truck, you have a passenger bus, but not always. You have an AC, whatever that is, and a, a loader unit. So that is a lot, all right? That is a lot of stuff. That, look at that. That is quite a quite a setup there, isn't it? And then you have, what else do you have? You can go to your failures, which are now in the game. So you can go from the menu, I think you can add the failures. And you can add do a, a PA, welcome aboard. I don't like to do them because they sound kind of strange. That's why I don't use them. But you have charts, right? You can enter a chart. I think enter a random chart, and if that's gonna give it, nope, not registered. All right, let's try a different airport. Doesn't matter. Checklist. All right, you have checklists, pre-flight, before start, before taxi, before takeoff, after takeoff, descent, approach, and landing checklist. Uh, yeah. That is it, guys. So, guys, another new feature that I noticed is you have, uh, when you spawn in, you get this menu, a configuration menu, and you can decide if you want to spawn in with Pratt & Whitney, Rolls-Royce, or General Electric engines. I'm going to go with the Rolls-Royce. Uh, the winglet's on or off. I'll go for off just to demonstrate the aircraft and uh, show this dialogue, or don't try this, show this dialogue in the startup. You can choose that. I, I like that, so you don't have to when you start. So here we are in the 767 300ER Condor livery, no winglets, Rolls Royce engines, and all the stuff loaded. All right, I mean, it looks pretty good, and uh, that's already. I mean, we already had that, so I won't show too much. And here's the also brand new 767 200ER. 
which we're gonna demonstrate right now. Best add-on you can get. So, I mean, look at that. You got the de-icing truck, which looks really cool. My favorite livery. Lufty Star Alliance. Here's the cockpit of the uh, commercial. You can see that should be... All the doors locked, I'll unlock the door, which is, I think that. There we go. So we do have a simulated cabin. I mean, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? That really is a good cabin, good looking cabin. Uh, here's the overhead panel. I mean, I like that you have these uh, mouse wheel buttons, which is really nice. It's easier, I think, to, to, to do the switches. Look at that. I mean, that is just beautiful. For a $20 upgrade, if you bought the first version, that is really worth it. And I know lots of people bought the first version. Um, so, I, I mean, I, I recommend it. I'm gonna take it for a spin, probably, across the Atlantic a couple times, you know, for a couple videos, so you guys can stay tuned, and if you're new, you can subscribe to see some of that content. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you're new, please do subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. And turn on those notifications. Don't forget. I don't say that a lot, but turn, the, turn on those notifications, all right? Peace out, boys.